Hi everybody, welcome back to The Average Artist. Today I am not showing my face because I can't be bothered. I hope that's an acceptable reason. Anyway, today we're doing the 100th page challenge which is a little thing that I made up. So what you do is you turn to page 100 of any book and the book I've chosen today is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, uh, or aka the Philosopher's Stone. I bought this one in Florida when I visited Harry Potter Wizarding World. That's why it's the American one, in case you're confused. British accent, American book. Let's get that elephant out of the room. Bye! And this is a collaboration with Color Holtz Creations, and you can check out her channel below. She is also doing a Harry Potter book. She's going to do number seven, and I'm going to do number one. So we thought that was quite harmonious, is the word, or fitting I think it's quite nice to the two opposite ends of the scales I get all the nice like oh they've come to Hogwarts for the first time and they're meeting and it's all happy except you know Voldemort's in the back of Professor Quirrell's head so oh my god mess is spoiler alerts I'm sorry anyway turn to one page 100 and I did already have a little sneak peek but basically I'm sorry there's gonna be spoilers because I think everybody knows this story by now um or films but Harry this is when Harry first meets Ron on the train and they're they're talking about their lives and Ron's talking about how he has his rat scabbers and then he gets embarrassed like his ears go pink and stuff because he's saying like his family's poor which he's embarrassed about but then Harry explains to him how he's never had any money and then they go on to talk about Voldemort and Ron's aghast because he says it's Voldemort's name. I started reading this just to read this page and I was hooked in again. I was like, I'm gonna read it all. No, I must stop. I have to work. But yeah, it's such, I don't know why. It's just so appealing. But I'm gonna draw, I had an idea to draw the two guys on the train basically chatting. So I do like character designs of Ron and Ron and Harry and I thought about doing something digitally, just basically scribble down some things that I could do and then I thought no I don't want to do it digital because it's way out of my comfort zone. Sort of doing these full illustrations are kind of stepping out the boundaries of what I would usually do anyway so I want to kind of make it easier on myself. I don't know it's just hard so I wanted to enjoy this project a little bit more than I did the last one. If that makes sense to anybody I don't care if it doesn't. I mean yeah I do because that's kind of why we're here. I need to explain myself. Good job, Steph. Also thought about just doing like some illustrations of the items that are sort of appear on page 100 or I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. I think, well, you'll see by the end, but yeah, I'm confused. So I'm gonna drop down some ideas and get back to you. Well, that's a nice illustration. Prettiful. Let's go, oh shit. Okay. I started out by drawing a little doodle in my sketchbook of a train interior that I quite liked and then I coloured it to sort of match a colour scheme that would be in a Hogwarts Express, in a Hogwarts Express, in the Hogwarts Express. And I really like this colour scheme because I think it's quite opulent and quite fitting for the style that I see in my head of the train and um, yeah, I don't know what you guys see but obviously this is a different take on it. And then I took some sort of tracing paper and I traced out the positions of Ron and Harry, what they were sitting like on the train to help give me some uh, reference. And then what I did was draw those characters, try and mimic their faces. I was looking back in my sketchbook at old character designs I did and thinking how I could apply what I did there to these um, character designs because I really liked the way that those worked out. And then after that I penciled it all out onto a watercolour paper and at first I thought I was going to regret using this coloured pencil but it turns out to be quite nice and it totally gets covered up so it's completely fine. But I wouldn't suggest using a coloured pencil just because you like drawing with it, um, anyone because it can be quite troublesome to rub out, sorry to get rid of and so I went in with the micron pens and then after that I did some watercolours but I will say I'm going back to the same old topic of preliminary work that I did a lot of preliminary work for this piece because it is something that I've been thinking about for a while because me and Color Holt Creations have had this collab in the works for a, a good while now and it's been in my head like oh, I have to make a good um, illustration because I love Harry Potter and I want to make it really nice and obviously it's my first ever collaboration so I want to put a lot of effort into it 
and I did all the preliminary work. I did digital sketches, thumbnails, in, I did studies of train interiors and then I did the character designs separately and then I did the positions and I figured out everything about where everything would be before I went and ahead and drew it out properly. Obviously this works in my favour because in the previous video I didn't do very much um, preliminary work and I wasn't very happy with the outcome. Whereas this one, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. The reason why I'm pleased is because it was a joy to recreate because I already did all the work beforehand, all the hard work of studying and figuring out everything so that when it came to doing this piece it was quite relaxing and nice and enjoyable to do. So I highly suggest doing preliminary work because it also boosts the outcome of the piece. Unless you're really amazing and you can just draw and you're just like, bam, I've got this amazing piece just done, you don't need to do that. But for me, I have to do a lot of like pre-studies and stuff. It's painful, but you know, you get through it, coffee and putting pen to paper, pencil to paper even, can be quite difficult at first. So with the watercolours, I wanted them to be quite loose around the sides. So it had that sort of effect as if this was a memory and you're looking in on it, maybe from a pensive. Yes, that's right guys, I'm a giant nerd, shocker. And yeah, I, I really like this when Ron's face is going pink and his ears are going pink, as she describes in the book and I thought I need to really highlight that. And then Harry's sort of saying like, no, it's cool, I'm super poor, I was kept in a cupboard my whole life. That's not scarring at all. How am I an adjusted teen? It makes no sense. But anyway, I went in with a blue watercolour to have some shadows and I think it was quite a cool blue. I think maybe I should have done it in a warmer shadow, like a, a ready shadow or something because obviously the train is cosy and warm, but I guess the, they are in England so the light would be quite cold coming from through that window. That's right, I'm justifying it. Whatever. <laughs> I went back in with the Micron pen to just add some, make the blacks blacker because um, some of the detail was washed away with the paint. So I needed to go back in and do a few more details, guys, okay? I really like Scabbers in this drawing as well. He's so cute, even though he's just like this grown man who takes baths with Ron, which is really, really creepy. But yeah, in this, in this book, we don't know that, okay? He's just a cute little rat. Um, yeah, I guess. I did a lot of details with Posca and then the gold pen. Oh my gosh, guys, this gold pen is amazing. We bought it from London. It's like a calligraphy pen and it just lays on this smooth gold paint line. It just comes out really nice over all, all of the paint and everything. And I couldn't stop using it, which we'll, you'll become aware of as the video goes on. I keep adding more and more gold. I mean, it is fitting for my idea for the illustration that is quite an opulent, beautiful, rich environment. But I think maybe, maybe I go a little bit overboard with the gold, but I don't care, okay? Need a little gold in your life. The gold pen will return at the end. That's right, there's gonna be more. So I was just doing little details towards the end and I think it really made the illustration come together. So I'm aware that the, the two um, trunk racks are a little bit different. <laughs> but I don't care because, I mean, it doesn't, it wouldn't be like that, but who cares? I don't. So you shouldn't, don't look at it. I shouldn't have mentioned it, Never mind. So yeah, basically I'm just doing lots of little details to pull the illustration all together and I think it really turns out really nice and I'm finally, yes guys, finally I am pleased with something that I've done for a long time that hasn't been the case, so yeah. Oh, here comes the gold pen back. Really great voiceover. I really enjoyed this one and I'm really glad that um, me and Colour Holt Creations have done this together. It's, I can't wait to see hers and you should go check it out as well because I can't wait. I was just adding more colours and final, final touches. And also on the window, I know in a train you can look out and there's obviously a background, a background, a, the landscape going by. But I didn't want it to be really static in the background so I just did like whooshy lines, that's the technical term, yes, whooshy lines in the background and I think it worked out. This is the final piece, let me know what you guys think, I'd really like to hear your thoughts and I might do another Harry Potter illustration, I also bumped up the colours and stuff in Photoshop so this is the final kind of digital look and please let me know what you think, like and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time guys, bye! Thank you.